Hello everyone, I'm Gitima, working presently as QA lead at MoEngage. Today in this talk, I would like to share seven learnings from the past seven years of my career. I would like to start my talk with the saying, the beautiful thing about learning is that nobody can take it away from you. We all have opinions and assumptions, but with time, we understand things better and also, it leads to sometimes change our mindset. I also had a few self-realizations, which I want to share it today. So let's start. The first one is consistency is the key to achieve goals. We all have goals, but then we tend to divert from them. What I learned is setting a deadline is important and then consistently working on the goal is the key point. When I look back to the first few years of my career, I realized that I always used to give excuses for not working on my goals. I had goals, but then no deadlines and no consistency. And then years just passed by. A second learning is do not just run after test automation. When I joined my first company as a QA engineer, I always used to run after automation. I, uh, I was new to testing and did not know much about the testing concepts. Then um, I thought if testing has value, then it can be achieved only through learning and working on automation. But now, today I can say this is not true. Yes, automation is indeed an important part of testing and uh, learning automation always adds value to a QA engineer. But then, a test automation engineer who knows the testing concepts well can actually provide more value to the to testing than the one who can only code or just write scripts. So what I learned is learn the testing concepts well. Uh, it might be uh, the testing techniques, the planning, uh, the risk analysis, uh, testing tools, and the list just goes on. The next learning is in-depth programming concepts for test automation. Uh, if you want to move towards automation, then the foremost thing we have to understand is for long-term success in automation, we have to understand the programming concepts well. It might be the OOPS concept, data structures, algorithms, etc. I always used to get confused which language I should learn. Then I used to switch between languages. Um, but now I realize that uh, first important thing is we have to understand programming concepts. We have to stick to one language first. If we know one language thoroughly, we can, uh, we can learn the syntax and write code in any other programming language. We should discover the areas which are feasible uh, for automation at work and um, uh, and try to find uh, the uh, places which can reduce uh, manual or manual, uh, which can reduce the manual efforts. And then try uh, start uh, small and try implementing your learning. The next learning is be curious and open to learn. Uh, being a tester, we just uh, can't just stick to finding bugs. We have to be curious at our workplace. We have to learn from the issues which we found. We have to uh, be curious like why, uh, how the issue occurred. What is the root cause of the issue? We should always try to debug before going to the developers. We should also learn from the defects which we missed. Uh, what we could do, what we can do to avoid uh, such mistakes we should learn from the defect patterns. There are also so many tools in the market. Uh, we should explore them and we should also uh, implement uh, the learnings in our work. The next learning is dedicate specific time for reading and sharing. We all know reading is so much important, but then sometimes we lose the habit of reading due to several factors. What I learned is 
always give dedicates uh, always give specific time for reading read books blogs and then share your learnings uh, give specific time for sharing your learning the next learning is leaders always lead from the front i'm fortunate enough to uh, to have worked with good leaders and uh, i have always learned so much from them and always get inspired from them uh, now being a qa lead at my company i have learned that actions speak louder than words we have to act in such a way that we can show the right path to our team and we can empower the people in our team the last but not the least be yourself express yourself and do not worry much about others opinions i'm thankful to the person who made me realize this i have now learned this and i have implemented in my uh, work i always used to get hesitated uh, to come forward and share my views i used to think what others might uh, how others might react to my opinions the thing i learned is people will always have opinions but uh, they might not agree to what we say but should we not share our views only because people are opposing to us there might be so many other people who might agree to us and also learn from us so let's take people's feedback in a positive way and do not hesitate to share your views uh i have come to the end of my talk today and to summarize i would like to say if you are new in your career uh please set your goals now this is the best time to work on your goals and if you are experienced but have not still worked on your goals do it now it is uh, still not too late to act then learn the programming concepts well if you want to move to automation but remember one thing if you want to be a good qa engineer you have to understand testing and understand the value it provides always be curious and read and share your learnings and be yourself express yourself and do not worry much about others opinions thank you everyone for listening and happy learning and happy testing <laughs>